Today I'm going to share with you kind of a bonus feature in Adobe Captivate 2019. Uh, you already know that you can import your final questions using a CSV file that you've created yourself. This is a way to make it even easier than it already is by using a macro, a CSV creation macro. Uh, this is included when you install Adobe Captivate and you'll find it, uh, you know, for Windows users, you'll find it on your C drive under the program files, Adobe, Adobe Captivate 2019 X64 gallery quiz folder. And you'll see it there. It's called CSV questions creation macro dot xlsm the xlsm extension is that that's for creating uh, that's a macro that runs in microsoft excel uh, the same file will be found on a mac located in applications adobe captivate 2019 gallery quiz so you can look for that there if you're a mac user uh, let's go ahead and open up this sample file here and I'll just take you through the process of what's involved to use it. Uh, I'm just going to maximize the view on my screen here. Uh, if you get a security warning, just click enable content. Uh, I've already done it for this file, so uh, it's remembering that from last time. The first thing you want to do is go to CSV input form. That's a big green button you'll see in the middle here. And this allows you to very easily input your questions one by one. So the first thing you need to do uh, is type in the question type or select the question type rather. Uh, for this example, uh, what we'll choose is say multiple choice. Uh, the next field is the number of points assigned to this question. And then the question stem itself. And this is the statement at the beginning of your question. So in this case here, I'm going to say, who was elected to be leader of Canada in 2015? And I know that's not really the right way someone becomes leader in Canada, but that's okay. So like, uh, like when you create the regular CSV file, you still need the asterisk in front. And we're just gonna type in the correct answer in this first field here. You can place the correct answer anywhere you wish. And now I'm gonna enter in the distractors. So I'm gonna type in Andrew Shear, and we'll type in Jasmine Singh. Now I can take this a step further. I could go ahead and click on add question and this will be a standard single answer, multiple choice. Alternatively, I could put in uh, additional correct answers if it's a multiple, mul multiple correct answer, multiple choice. So I could do that. In this case here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take advantage of the advanced answer option that you can do right here from this form where I can give specific feedback to every single possible answer. So in this case here, we, we would obviously say correct. Uh, Justin Trudeau became prime minister in 2015. Click anywhere or press Y to continue. Andrew Shear, we can say uh, incorrect. Andrew was not running for leader of his party in 2015. And similarly for Jasmine, we can say Jasmine was not uh, running for leader of his party in 2015. There we go. So once I've got all this, the content entered, I just simply click on add question. You'll get this message. If it's successful, it will say the question you have entered has been added to the question CSV worksheet. You can click on OK. If you wish, you can click on the question CSV tab and confirm that that data has been stored in the CSV tab there.
Let's go back to CSV input form here. We'll clear the form now and let's select uh, true false here. So number of points will say five. Question stem Canada is the largest country in the world. We'll type in true. And because this question is false, I'm going to start it with an asterisk and type in false. And now we can um, add this question. And this has been added to our CSV worksheet there. Let's clear the input. And once again, we'll go here and we'll do a matching question. And maybe this will be worth more points. We'll make that 20 points. Match the political leaders to their correct parties. So this would be Justin Trudeau, liberal, Andrew Scheer, conservative, Jasmeet Singh, NDP. And we can add that question if it's successful. Uh, you'll see this message here like before. Okay, we can quickly check that. Looks good. Everything's good so far. Let's clear the input form and let's do uh, a fill in the blank here. Now we can assign points to this like before. Now, when we write the question stem, we need to use that uh, vertical line it's called a pipe. And it's the key that's usually just above your enter key. You press uh, shift to get it to display that pipe and that becomes your blank. And we'll just say blank is the monarch of Canada. And so we can put a bunch of possibilities. We can put in Queen Elizabeth. That's probably what most people would enter. We could say Queen Elizabeth II. We could say Elizabeth just by herself. We could say Elizabeth Windsor. We could say the queen, and we'll just add one more queen. All the possibilities there. So they're all potentially correct answers. And we'll add this question. Again, we get the confirmation message. We can go to uh, the CSV file and see, okay, that looks good there. So now what we want to do, we want to export this to a CSV file. Now currently it's a, an Excel macro file. So we're going to go to the file tab. We're going to go down to export and we're going to change the file type and we're going to select comma delimited or CSV here and we'll save as and we're going to go up to the desktop. I think that's a good place to save it and we'll just type in questions here. We'll hit save now. We're going to get a warning because, of course, we've got multiple sheets here. And the warning is just telling us, you know, uh, you can't do CSVs with multiple sheets. Click OK to have it just use the active sheet. And that's important. You've got to be on this sheet if you want to export this sheet as a CSV file. So we'll click OK. And that's going to save. I'm going to minimize this right now. We're going to go back to um, Captivate and we'll go into the quiz drop down menu and import CSV. And we'll just go there. There's the question file that we created. We'll click on open. And then all our questions import just as you would expect. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. 
visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.